Today I'll be let's playing the hardest game of all time. Now you're probably looking at Spawn Drum and saying you're you're full of shit. But this game is the physics engine is completely broken. It's a buggy piece of shit, and it's so fucking fun. The uh, objective is to get SpongeBob to the end of the levels, but there there's no way in hell you can do that at the later levels because the physics are really bad. And uh, <laughs> son of a bitch, uh, SpongeBob has a tendency to when he starts rolling or flipping to. Uh, not stop and he'll usually land and crash and so whenever you land on your head it's game over so one of the problems is uh, as the game starts you're bouncing and uh, if you continue if you uh, don't let Spongebob settle you're gonna flip over and oh god it's uh it's fucking ridiculous now, the uh, first level, most people usually quit around there because it's so broken. But the uh, second level adds jumps, which, uh, <laughs> which are very hard to do when you have, uh, when you have to uh, also go up a hill before doing the jumps. So you can't really build speed, and uh, when SpongeBob is, does have uh, speed built up, he has a tendency to just fly everywhere. Now, uh, the physics engine is pretty bad already, but you can actually make it worse when you lower the quality to uh, what some people call European Extreme Mode, based on uh, Metal Gear Solid, which completely breaks the physics engine. You can do crazy spins and still land them. But... It's called European Extreme for a reason, and that's because, uh, you'll be flipping everywhere without being able to land, so I usually just keep it on, uh, high quality. Oh god, I'm doing pretty bad. Now, uh, Botocross actually has a sequel with, uh, customization. Which uh, actually makes the game harder because each of the uh, parts has a specific trait, such as some of the wheels have better traction or allow you to go faster, and the uh, <laughs> the uh, chassis of the uh, vehicle can also uh, have more weight or less weight, which uh, oh, which can help with when you're trying to get up and down hills, but can also uh, make you flip more often. And it also adds hazards in the form of traffic cones, which can get stuck under you and cause you to flip pretty badly. The uh, best way to go about Botocross is not to take it slow, because you won't have enough speed to do some of the uh, jumps, but also if you go too fast you're going to flip. Alright, nice and easy. Now the, uh... <laughs> I haven't even got past the first hill. Uh, shit. This, uh... As you progress through the levels, you do get uh, more lives. But once you lose all your lives, you're back to level 1. And, uh... Alright, got over that hill. The, uh... First stage... Oh god. The uh, main uh, problem there are the hills, and here's one of the jumps. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, um, I got to the end that time, so I should be able to do it again and promptly completely get wrecked on uh, the second level. Oh my fuck. Oh, man, what a frustrating game. Uh, some people like to say that, you know, the Soul series is the, uh, some of the, one of the hardest games, but I'd like to see them beat Botocross. I mean, it looks like I'm playing really shitty, but I'm really not. It's 
the physics engine is just completely wacky. I mean, I guess you can say that that uh, it's due to the underwater setting, but if this is what the boating test is like, it's no wonder that uh, after several years, SpongeBob still hasn't gotten his license. And, uh... <laughs> oh, god. I'm probably not gonna be able to beat it this time, so I'm just gonna have one more go and then just give up. Because, uh... Christ. Uh, no one wants to watch someone fail at a game so much, so, uh... I'm signing off here, and, uh... See you next time.